Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a cylinder text. Let us start with a simple canvas. I want to have it squared so one so 1000 for width and height should be good. Let me zoom out a little bit. It's black for now and we'll add a white text on top. So I'll make white my foreground color, I'll use the text tool. I'll make it all caps cylinder text. Control A, then I size it up. You can adjust the color font family here, whatever you need. But this should be fine for our example. Next step is to use the rotate tool right here. Left click on the text and set it to 90 degrees. Confirm your rotate. Put it somewhat in center. And now we want to copy this, so we'll duplicate our layer. But let me resize my window so that you can see it actually at the bottom. Because of the canvas size, my GIMP has readjusted its size automatically. I'm going to use this function down here to duplicate my layers. I'll make it like 7 or 8. Use the alignment tool, select them all. And then use this distribute function. So how many copies you need for your layer depends on the canvas that you use. In my case right here 8 is good, so I'll stick with this. You can still move these individual elements around. But I would suggest that you keep them in one line, so like this. Afterwards, you want to merge your layers until you've got only one with all of these text elements. Get rid of your background and create a new layer. It's important that it's transparent. I'll just call it transparent. I'll go back to my cylinder text layer, go to filters, map, and there's an option called map object. It might look a little bit different for you. I've got the wireframe unchecked and I update preview live. I go up with the depth fully, so it's going to make it smoother and I've used map to cylinder. I add it on a new layer and I get rid of the transparent background right here. So these are the basics that I use. Let us go to cylinder first. I use for top and bottom my transparent layer. That is why we've created it. And here you can size radius and length up and down. So it's going to expand or stretch it. Orientation, you can adjust the position of the text and the position of the entire element. So position right here in the three dimensions does this. And rotation, it adjusts the position of the text within the cylinder. So this is what I would simply call the perspective of what we're trying to create here. Find something that you like. I'm going with this. Now let's go to light. The light source color doesn't have that much of an impact, but we want to have directional light. Once you've got something that you like, go to material. And here's where you can actually adjust this shadow effect. You want to find a good value so that there's enough contrast between the ones, so the text elements, that are in front and the ones that are behind. Highlight and specular doesn't have much of an impact here for me, but the other three values, they are impactful. It's a little bit of guesswork.
but I'm somewhat fine with what we've got here. At least it's enough for our example. Maybe I'll adjust the orientation just slightly so that we can clearly see these text elements right here in front. Once you confirm it, we are okay. It's going to take some time depending on the speed of your CPU. When it's done, let's go to File, New, and we'll make it 90, 20 times 1080 to create a new canvas. It's black for me. Then I go back to the square one. I copy my cylinder layer and then I paste it right here in my new canvas. I can still scale it up, just left click on it, confirm via scale. And this is how you can create this cylinder text in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.